All right, fellas, here we are back in Pokemon Masters. And uh, so obviously it is currently 9 a.m. on the 24th. And if you know why that's special, it's because we just got the data mine. Duh. Uh, I'm going to be doing the video for Archie because uh, Pokemon Tools has not updated yet to, uh, to, to reflect the new data mine. So since I am free right now uh, to make a video, I figured let's look at Archie. I have not got this video done. I'm gonna have to put this out today anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and record this. So this video's probably gonna come out a lot later than when the, when I'm now recording it. Anyway, we're looking at Archie because he is the Pokemon Masters Day rerun for uh, April of 2024. Uh, he's gonna be coming, and then Maxie's gonna be coming for uh, May of 2024, right? Uh, and really the only upgrade that this guy got since uh, his, or from his re-release, I guess, was the Tacky X roll. That's it. So this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter, simply because I don't need to talk much about Archie, because he, this is like his third rerun, fourth ever total run, uh, and I think a lot of people probably have a good grasp on how his kit works, but I figure, you know what, let's see if the Tacky X roll is really going to be that good for him. Anyway, so, looking at his stats, a 6 star AX level 140, he's got 804 uh, HP, 155 in defense, 164 special defense, 318 special attack, and 337 speed. These stats all around are not crazy, the HP is good, the defensive stats are, pre are quite poor, uh, special attack is not fantastic, and the speed is fine enough, uh, and then level 150 of course can increase these levels uh, overall a little bit, which is nice, right? The Tech X roll does provide some good stat buffs, most notably in the defenses and special attack. Uh, HP goes to nearly 900 with this, which is really good. 181 defense, 190 special defense, and 352 special attack. Big thing with Archie and why his special attack is this low is for the fact that he released uh, alongside Maxi, and they wanted Maxi and Archie to be equal. Archie was a big thing, big guy for setting rain and extending it, so he already got his innate buff of setting rain, whereas Maxi had Sun. Uh, so he obviously did not get any in a buff, right? RC sets rain, water moves directly get powered up in rain. Maxi sets sun, ground moves or grass moves don't get directly powered up in sun, right? So that's why Maxi has a higher offensive stat than Archie if we go ahead and take a look at him just, just to prove that statement. Like 6 star X Maxi, level 150, right? He's got 476 attack. Tech X roll, that'll give him a 496 attack, right? Again, Poet Souls is not updated yet, but still. Um, and then again, Archie, he's got literally like 150 less in the offense stats. So it tr they tried to balance out uh, Maxi and Archie, right? Anyway, uh, so that's the stats. His stats are still fine, I guess. Like, they're not they're not bad by any means, I would say. 350 special attack's still good. The defensive stats could afford to definitely be better, but at the very least, his HP is a good. It's good, for sure. Uh, his main form of damage is Origin Pulse, a 4-gauge move, 226 power that hits all opponents. It's got 85 accuracy. Uh, it, it's like Hyper Beam, but water and AoE, basically. X special attack, to buff a special attack, of course. Thunder, uh, 148 power, 3 gauge move, 30% chance to paralyze, and it will never miss in rain, which is, of course, RG's biggest proponent, so... Yeah, or biggest component, rather. So he's got that pretty much infinite, uh, infinitely accurate thunder. Uh, he's got open the ocean, which raises his accuracy by 1, raises his crit by 3, lowers defenses by 2, and then it also raises special attack when in rain, and applies uh, an accuracy buff by 1 when in rain, and applies gradual healing when in rain. So if assuming you're using this turn one, which you're realistically gonna use it within the first two turns probably of battle, you're gonna be getting yourself plus two accuracy, plus three crit, uh, plus two special attack, gradual healing, and minus two in both defenses. Uh, this is probably, this is easily obviously not the, not the good thing about the trainer move. Uh, and I would say that it's honestly really, um, really noticeable because if you're not running Archie with a defensive support to buff his defenses back to normal, these defenses are low. Even with, despite all of this investment, these defenses are still relatively low, and the fact that he's lowering his defenses by two is going to mean he is going to be very squishy, uh, which is mostly fine for shorter content like uh, stadium battles or whatever, right, or maybe even the battle rally, but for stuff like an ultimate battle, which you're realistically not going to bring him into anyway, but you probably can now with the techie X roll, I guess, um, or the legendary and whatnot, right, you're going to be getting hit, you're going to get slapped up by the these uh, defensive debuffs. So you're gonna have to be pretty careful about that uh, and find some way to maybe mitigate this issue. Other than that, though, his self-sufficiency is amazing. His DPS options are pretty good too. Uh, and of course, uh, he's got himself the Origin Pulse here, his uh, sync move, which at three out of five is 275 power. And with the EX roll, that of course goes up to 412, which is definitely a good base power for your sync, nu uh, sync nuke. 
I guess. In his passive skills, he's got Hoenn Spirit with the Master Passive, powers up special attacks by 20%, uh, and it gives uh, a damage reduction of 25%, uh, and the more Hoenn allies, the more it powers up and applies damage reduction with a maximum of a 50% uh, special attack power up and 31% damage reduction. That's definitely good for sure. 50% power buff and 31% damage reduction against moves. That's definitely going to be helping him out when it comes to special tanking, despite the fact that he lowers his own defenses. Uh, and also in conjunction with someone like Cygnus Suit Chris, he's going to be good uh, there too. So, hey, I think he'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, anyway, that, that, that's not too bad. Uh, he's got Downpour, which makes the weather rainy the first time the user enters a battle each battle. Uh, this is how, of course, he sets rain. Uh, he's got Flood Alert, which extends rain by... I believe 50% of its normal time uh, when the user is on the field. So this obviously activates when he uses, or when downpour activates, and this also activates whenever any ally sets rain by whatever method. Whether it be Dahlia's max move, Cygnus Suit Chris using rain dance, or like if we had a hypothetical water type field sync pair that set rain on their uh, EX roll, right? All of that would activate uh, Archie's Flutter, and it would give you that extension. And that's especially good for if we ever do get a field water sink pair, which I don't think we have, right? I'm, I'm trying to think to the current data mine we just got, and I don't think we got a water field sink pair. So, <laughs> or any, like, EX roll or anything. So, the fact that we got this now, that's going to be useful. Uh, if we get that, that will make uh, Flood Alert even more beneficial. So, that's nice. Uh, also, Dahlia has it, so you could do some really fun shenanigans with Archie and Dahlia, because they can both extend uh, rain, and it just makes it last infinitely longer. So, I mean, Archie got buffs in that aspect. Uh, obviously, he did get the tech X-Roll directly, but in terms of direct buffs, uh, or sorry, indirect buffs, he got a lot of good water-type partners. Uh, Archie is not even close to being, like, on the optimal water setup anymore, so if you're looking for an optimal character, Archie's, like, three years old at this point, too, so, I mean, I don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> no offense, of course, but, like, I, I would not expect Archie to have been uh, uber-fantastic being as old as he is. But, like, he, if you are an Archie fan and you want to see, like, any upgrades he may have gotten uh, from his release, then, of course, he did get the, uh, from release, he got Signature Chris as a support, right, with special moves next and whatnot. Neo Champion Kalem in some aspect is also pretty helpful. Neo Champion Serena applying uh, water rebuff is a direct power-up to him. You can nuke with Serena, DPS with Archie from the sides. It can be a relatively functional ability. Uh, Signature Suit Lyra, this will extend the range she can set on her sync move as well, right? She, uses, uh, she has Rain Caller setting rain after her sync move. This effectively gives you infinite rain as long as you use Lyra's sync move and uh i'm pretty sure her nuke is pretty good right uh brain power smarty yeah brain power smarty pants and another innate smarty pants yeah lyra and archie is not a bad combination variety lyra of course uh using for double striker is not bad so you lysander for double striker is not too bad dolly is a really good one she's able to debuff special defense with her uh passive here as well as set rain on the max move and extend rain again as stated uh with flood alert five here in the grid so, Archie has definitely gained buffs other than direct buffs. He's gained good partners. And, of course, you know, he, he benefits from those of, like, you know, Iono, Chase, you know, any any good support, right? Any good special support uh, will be a good buff to Archie as well. So, he did gain those aspects, uh, and that's nice. But, again, do keep in mind, I still don't think Archie's that fantastic. 352 special attack, 207 base power uh, DPS option with, uh, what, 30% DPS here. Yeah, powers up moves when the weather is rainy with uh, shower, shower surge. 30% uh, DPS multiplier is nice, but the offensive stat's pretty low. Move being AoE is going to make it do a little bit, uh, quite a bit less damage, I would say. Uh, and overall, I mean, he's also pretty frail. End of the day, I mean, he, he's solid. He's not too, he's not bad, for sure. But he's definitely aged, for sure. That's 100% that's true. Uh, at 1 out of 5, he doesn't really get anything besides X Special Attack NPR, which is useless assuming you use the trainer move in rain, because uh, you'll max out Special Attack anyway. But I mean, I guess if you get your Special Attack lowered, but really I don't think that's worth it. Trainer move NPR is not great. Uh, Origin Pulse, Gauge Refresh is nice. Uh, Paralysis Energy 1 on Thunder, <laughs> on Thunder, I guess. Uh, sure. Thunder Gauge Refresh, Trainer Tenacity, and Rain Gear 2. Uh, these are mostly just some decent Gauntlet abilities and Gauge Efficiency abilities in form of Gauge Refresh on Orger Pulse and Thunder. Paralysis Energy is a very minor uh, multiplier for Thunder. Really only worth it if you really plan to use Thunder DPS, which is fine for some electric stages and tornadoes and whatnot. So it is a relatively viable option. Uh, Torrental Tenacity, preventing flinch, confusion, and trap. Mostly helpful for less RNG in the gauntlet or from enemies maybe hitting you with stray moves that land these uh, abilities. Mostly just stuff you're going to be using. It's mostly stuff that's going to be used... Uh, 
not uh, not regularly. It's stuff that's going to be used if you are trying to face an opponent that directly uses these abilities, which is not too common. And then Ring Gear 2, reducing damage received when the weather is rainy. That's relatively helpful, again, uh, in case you do somehow get him to 3 out of 5, because that's 20% damage reduction when in rain. Definitely helps out with his lower defenses uh, and just overall lower base defenses. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, that, that it's just a helpful damage reduction ability. Again, good mostly for Gauntlet and maybe taking a few stray AoE attacks. 3 out of 5, of course, gives him most of his stuff, but even then, it's not really that crazy. Literally, the best note he's got is Shower Sync, which sets rain after using his Sync move, which, of course, is getting extended by Flood Alert 5. This just gives him more rain-setting ability, right? And you'll see this isn't really that crazy for the fact that he's just got Shower Power 3, Thunder Raging Rain, uh, Healthy Power Up 1, Leg Up 1, Super Rain, and Rainy Propulsion, and Sync Notes. If you will notice, his only multiplier is Shower Power 3 for his Sync Note, for his Sync Nuke. That's it. That's all he's got. He's got plus 2, plus 80% power on the sync nodes, shower power 3. 462 base power sync move, 30% DPS multiplier, or 30% nuke multiplier. 50% if you give him critical strike 2, sorry. 60% uh, if you give him uh, weathered warrior 3 as a lucky skill, right? Because that's what that's probably what you're going to give him. You're going to give him weathered warrior 3. Like, why else would you give him anything else, right? So, um... 60% in total nuking multipliers with a 462 base power sync move off of a 350 special attack stat. If that sounds garbage... Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> um, it's not bad. Well, okay, yeah, it's bad. It, it's bad. Let, let's not let's not let's not undersell it here. It's bad for sure. Uh, but I mean, setting the rain is nice, and that's really the only reason you would ever want to use, use the sync move. Literally using like, probably using a uh, damp cloth and hitting the enemy would probably hit for her for, for better damage. I would say. But I mean, sure, right? You get to set the rain. That's nice, and you get a miniature nuke off of it. This is why tech kind of sucks for Mar uh, Marchy, <laughs> or Maxi and Archie, for the simple fact that, like, this base power nuke does help their nuke, but it does not make it anywhere near where you would want it to be to be worth using. Uh, and it also only gives plus 20 in the offense, so literally support would have just been better for Archie for the fact that you can get a support EX on top of a resetting rain on the same move. In my opinion, anyway, our support would have been better, but sure, they wanted to go for a little bit of a power increase. He could use it, but it's not enough, in my opinion. Uh, th Raging Rain on Thunder, 50% DPS multi uh, multiplier for Thunder, plus the 10% from Paralysis Energy, plus the 30% from Weathered Warrior, if you run that as a lucky skill here, and Shower Power, or sorry, Shower, shower Surge, uh, and you've got yourself a lot of damage for Thunder, assuming you can get everything activated. So if you're going to be running Electric DPS with Archie, it's definitely not too uh, bad of an idea, especially because he's got consistent Thunder Landing with the Rain being up, and of course being able to buff his accuracy, just in case Rain were to ever go down. But if Rain ever, ever went down, you would be missing out on a lot of Thunder DPS. So, it's a give and take. Uh, Healthy Power Up 1, Powering Up Moves when HP is full. This is just a 10% DPS multiplier. Really is not worth picking up at all. And it's only activated when you're at full health, which any stray AoE attack is going to deal like 900 damage to you anyway. So, yeah, this is not going to be that, that useful in the long run. Leg Up 1, 20% chance of reducing countdown when it enters battle. This move activate. This only activates once per battle. It's like a shitty head start one, right? If you want to fish for it, then you can, but realistically, why would you? You can, again, if you really want to fish for a leg up, you can just reset the battle until it activates, but I don't see a reason to do that. Char, uh, Super Rain 4, apply 50% chance to apply Super Effective next uh, to the Pokemon when using a move in Rain. This is helpful for actually boosting his on-type damage with Thunder and Origin Pulse, right? I mean... Even off-type, their uh, Origin Pulse is going to be doing fine. Thunder, probably too. But this is very helpful for on-type battles like Annabelle, if you somehow can manage to bring Archie into that battle. I'm not going to say that you can. I'm not going to say that you cannot. I'm saying it does look bleak. Uh, but anyway, you can do that. And of course, it's going to be helpful for the Thunder DPS too, in case you're trying to, again, beat an Electric Week stage. So being able to use Thunder and get some Super Effective Next off of it is definitely nice too. And the Rainy Propulsion, 20% chance to reduce Sync Countdown by 1 when using a move while in rain. Uh, this is a lot better than Leg Up, and probably the only other thing that's worth picking up, because again, Archie's grid sucks. None of this stuff is immensely helpful for him. Uh, why are you trying to boost his Sync Nuke power? Because his Sync Nukes kinda definitely sucks anyway. Uh, if you're going to run an Archie grid, I would say this is probably it, for the simple fact that you're probably going to run him on type, so Super Rain's going to be helpful. Uh, shower Power, I guess, for a little bit of damage, and then Shower Sync is really the only reason you would ever expand his grid to 3 out of 5 to begin with, so that's definitely going to be picked up. Of course, you can give him uh, an extra plus 
for grid energy if you want to give him a sync node to try and cope for his nuke damage a little bit but i mean generally i would say this is probably what you want to pick up if you're really not a big fan of picking up rainy propulsion then there you go there's your sync nodes i would rather pick up rainy propulsion though because at least it gives him a little bit more utility than the stuff he's already pretty much immensely lacking but overall i say that's mostly it i mean archie's not bad but I mean, he definitely has aged, and that's but that is just a component of aging, right? I mean, he's three years old. Uh, he's nearly three years old, right? So aging like he has, it, it makes sense. Uh, he was a titan back during, uh, right back before the second anniversary, during the second anniversary, and he was still really good by the time the third anniversary had hit. Uh, so, but the fact that, of course, you know, age has definitely taken its toll on him, like <laughs> taken taken a massive toll on him, right? So uh, all of this was pretty much to be expected, but hey. If you still like Archie and you've not pulled him and you like Kyogre, then obviously if it's a favorite and you think that they're worth pulling for the simple fact that they are a favorite, go for it because you can still get usage out of Archie. He's still got okay damage. He's still got the utility with Rain. Some sync countdown shenanigans here and there. And of course, at the end of the day, always pull for your favorites. Try and upgrade your favorites. Uh, and at the very least, if you don't think Archie's base kit is that great, then you can be happy in the fact that Neo Champion Serena does apply extra buffs to him with her special defense debuffs, the water rebuffs, uh, gauge management with speed buffs, and etc. etc. Dollar is a great uh, help or helpful partner for him as well with the extra flood alert and the rain on the max move and also her, her being able to set water rebuff too and debuff special defense a lot faster with uh, this ability here so she, Lysander has gotten buffs since release and if you are a big not Lysander Archie has gotten buffs since release and if you are a big fan of him or Kyogre then summon for the simple fact that you can definitely find some partners later on that are going to be making him look stronger that's, that's what this game's about. It's, got, it's about playing with your favorite characters. But if you're one that just cares about meta and whatnot, you can easily skip Archie. There's a lot better rain characters, right? Even his rain extension setting abilities are not that amazing anymore for the simple fact that uh, we have EX roles, and there's going to be a water field EX sometime in the future, whether it be Cygnus Suit Chris or someone else, I don't know. But someone's going to get it in the future. It's got to happen. Dahlia, of course, sets rain and extends it. Uh, we've got Cyg uh, Cygnus Suit Chris sets rain three times, even discounting the fact that she might get the field EX role uh, in Neo Champions Serena obviously sets a rebuff, and so does Dolly as well, so I don't think Archie, for meta purposes, is all that uh, impactful, but of course, again, you can still utilize him just for being a favorite character, and I think that is, at the end of the day, what everyone should be striving to do, unless, of course, you play this game for the, the meta, which is fair enough as well. But yeah, I'll see y'all later. I hope y'all enjoyed. That's my thoughts about Archie and Kyogre and their Techie X roll upgrade. They should have got support. Realistically, they should have got support, but anyway, yeah. I'll see y'all later. I hope y'all enjoyed.